pineapples. I chopped up a pineapple yesterday, put it in the fridge, whatever. Today, it tastes kind of fizzy. Fizzy? Yeah. Is that normal? When you get the stuff out of the packet, it doesn't taste fizzy. Why is that? I don't really know why that is, really. They must put, like, a chemical on to keep it sort of fresh. Yeah. How do they grow? On a tree. Pineapple trees? I'm off to Ghana, a top pineapple producer, to find out what they are putting in their packets. We are most definitely in Ghana. I'm headed to Zulu Pineapple Farm in Dabora, who contribute to the whopping 140,000 tonnes of pineapple imported into the UK every year. Hello, Kate. Uh, you're welcome, Ernest. Ernest Abloh has been farming for nearly 25 years. I don't quite know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting a field full of what looked like houseplants. So this is all pineapple. All pineapples. Yeah. Ernest's team are planting next year's crop by simply stuffing discarded pineapple tops back into the earth. Gosh, can we take a closer look? Look at that! This looks nothing like a pineapple, but I'm guessing that that might be the beginning of it. Yeah, this is the beginning. This is the flowering stage. Over the course of three months, each individual flower blooms and then forms a tiny berry. Those berries then fuse into one big pineapple fruit. Then it's ready to pick. Oh! <laughs> so, Ernest, why sometimes at home if I have a little pineapple, leave it for a couple of days, it kind of goes a bit funny. That is due to fermentation by the activities of microorganisms, especially yeast. There's yeast present. Yes, yeast is on the outside of the fruit. When fruits grow, yeast develops all over the exterior. When the fruit is cut open, this yeast combines with the sugar inside and begins to ferment, creating tiny amounts of alcohol. During this process, carbon dioxide is produced, and that is the fizz. So what do you do to stop yeast affecting your pineapple products? Our first control point is to make sure that we bring down the activities of yeast by sanitising the fruit. The fruit is sanitised 30 miles away at the processing plant and is managed by Alastair de Gemate. Alastair! This is basically the intake area, and here we are just offloading the fruit. Before the pineapples enter the factory, they are sanitised in a natural disinfectant to reduce the amount of yeast on the skin. And they're not the only ones. So we're going to have a head-to-toe body wash. I'm sure you enjoyed the Ghanaian water. <laughs> in here? OK. I'm yes, the female water. Right. All of the factories that I've visited in my life never have I had to take a shower for them. I'm starting to see the extremes they go to to ensure their packaged pineapple stays so fresh. Holy yeah. pineapples, Alistair! <laughs> These workers have no time to lose. Each pineapple is peeled and chopped in under 10 seconds. What we do is to ensure speed of production, to ensure that even if they are yeast on this, these fruits, they cannot manifest or they cannot multiply in any way throughout the production. Hundreds of pristine pineapples go from field to packet within a day. It's the combination of speed, hygiene and chilled storage that minimises the chances of fermenting fizz and maximises the shelf life. All totally chemical free. And this is it. Fresh off the production line and this pineapple will certainly not taste funny. Definitely will not taste funny.